Welcome to TradingBeard.com. This is John. This report is for, well, the Friday the 13th. Well, yesterday we were talking about this very situation. We had this weak shakeout and I was saying, look, we need to see the return build back up and that's going to have to be with new highs and the likelihood of this taking place was because of those individuals who are behind for the year chasing yield and sure enough, boom. Now, let me throw in potential China and also the Fed announcing that, you know, they're going to throw a half a trillion dollars um, to the repo situation for the end of year. Um, well, you got a catalyst for all sorts of things because you've got uh, super easy money for hedge funds and that to buy and boom, this is what we got. We were also seeing our red beginning to turn around as well as the uh, cyan dipping below the red line, which then it's always bullish, so no shock with any of that. Mm, the NQ NASDAQ looking identical in this particular case. We can just whip right through that. Now, here's what we expected with the Brit exit that, um, well, even before this, we were expecting to move back to the 100% range. And we broke through that 100% range as expected when, sure enough, uh, Huge blowout for Johnson and the bread exit, non bread exit that uh, he's worked out. The interesting question is will he seek a renegotiation that would tank the euro, uh, or is he just going to go with his existing plan? And that was pretty much going to cripple Britain and leave it in the EU without being in the EU. Yeah, strange approach, but you know, this is the way these guys operate. From an oil standpoint, no real change. Um, even though there was a large inventory build in that, there's still plenty of activity going on out there to keep it in check. And that is why we're still seeing record highs. Um, but at some point when we see gold break out, uh, you can see it's building here with the DOC. We've actually moved to positive shakeout. There's the potential that it could make a more significant move. Um, when it does, break out from the range then you have a pretty good idea that inflation will have arrived for the first time in forever so we were talking about the 50k um and the uh, opus 2t power mode 2 opus 2t buying back down at the 3140 i know it seemed crazy buying down at these highs and then it even added into it uh at 46 uh, but here we are at 83 and once you get to over the 75 the pull towards 32 is pretty strong um so we'll see if it doesn't if it gets up into the low 90s and isn't able to break through um then we could see a significant turnaround leading back because we do have plenty of positive extremes um the most recent of which would be the lows right in here Looking right around 40-ish uh, is the low of this bar. And that's not too different because we would have uh, the 5K chart. Um, 45 was roughly where this initial breakout took place. We had the little soft decline, full reset of the steel, boost the new buy, and that has pushed us up. And we're just uh, sidelining here uh, at this particular point. We also had the... Uh, roller you can see mine it says uh, the March 20 uh, contract so we're moving to the ESH after this and that will uh, prepare us for the beginning of the new year um, you can see it's still working with my program here that just reflects the ticks that's the live tick count as it's happening the problem is it's printing all of the other ones and I've just about completed the new language that will eliminate that and just leave me the one constant counter. So, exciting stuff. As always, anything relevant, I will certainly put it on the Skype chat. Um, stay safe during the superstition times. You never know. <laughs> we'll talk again later and look for me on the Skype chat. Ciao.